The very first vlog I ever did on this channel was back in fall of 2022. I read The Simple Wild in that vlog and I haven't returned to the series, but don't worry, almost two years later, it's time. I'm doing Christmas in July for the first time and this is one of the two series that inspired me to do that. I've been wanting to finish this series since I started it in 2022. Here's what happened. I read that first book in fall of 22 and I absolutely loved it. I realized that the third book, the novella, takes place at the holiday season. So I wanted to delay and read the second book in November so I could read the third one in December. But by the time November rolled around, I just didn't have time to get this in. And I said, okay. Then I put on the list for 2023 and I said I'm going to make sure in 2023 I read Wild at Heart in the fall so that way I can read Forever Wild in the winter. I again didn't get it in. I tend to be much more rigid with the books that I'm reading in the fall in the winter because I like my mysteries, I like my spooky witchy romances, and I read a ton of Christmas books in November and December. Fitting in a series just didn't make sense but how was I going to get that holiday novella in? The solution, Christmas in July, so that's why we're picking it up now. I'm going to read Wild at Heart this week. Then I'm going to read Forever Wild next week because I'm doing Christmas in July, the last full week of July. So I will talk about this book in this vlog, but you'll also see it in the Christmas in July vlog, which will already be out by the time you're watching this. And then in August, we'll do Running Wild. I am most excited for Running Wild because it's got a veterinarian and books with veterinarians or animal shelters always jump to my list. But... I remember meeting Kella and Jonah. I remember the story a little bit. I probably need to go watch my own vlog to be honest to remind myself. But I know Wild at Heart picks up with their storyline and Forever Wild goes with them. And I do know that we met the veterinarian Marie in our first book and this is her book. So I'm really excited to dive back in. It'll take me about three weeks to get through these books because I'm staggering it. So come along as we finally finish the first series I ever started on my channel. I am already halfway through Wild at Heart and I am absolutely loving it. So I think I told you guys the premise of this book, but the whole series, we have Kala who's from Toronto, she's a city girl. Her father lives in Western Alaska and they have somewhat of a pair, impaired relationship. But in the first book, she does go to kind of make amends with him and when she's visiting him she falls in love with Jonah so this is really Jonah and Kala's love story being told across these books. So at the end of the first book, Jonah comes out to her and says like, please don't go back to Toronto or not necessarily don't go back to Toronto because he's like, I'll move with you, but can we figure out a way to make this work? And so the second book is actually Kala making the move to Western Alaska. He has more of a steady career where she it works remotely. And so she has more flexibility to move. And so it's a city girl learning what it's like to live in Western Alaska. And what I love about this book is it's told by months. So it opens up in December, and I think by now they're in May. And so it's really fun. I think basically we're going to go through the entire first year of her living in Western Alaska. And it's her learning how to adapt to a completely different life than the one that she has. She lives in a very remote area. She's having to learn to rely on her neighbors. She's learning a lot about wildlife. And one thing that I love about this book is she's come into a lot of money and Jonah doesn't have money and they haven't really had a strong conversation about that. I think that is such a real problem for couples of any age, but especially a little bit older where she's very well established in her adult spending habits and he is very well established in his adult saving habits. Trying to reconcile that, I just really like the way that's being tackled because it's such a very real life 
issue that lots of lots of couples have and I'm just really enjoying everything and funny enough if you can see this in the background this is actually a live cam of a national park in Alaska because there was a bear trap in here that's I'm not gonna tell you what it's about but that basically I was asking Corey last night I was like what are bear traps and then what are like bears that live in Alaska versus the ones that we have here in Virginia versus ones in all other places and I'm like googling brown bear versus black bear versus grizzly bear and then I just searched like bear cam because if you don't know this I have a fascination with Africa so I've looked at safari cams before to see like zebra and elephant and I was like I wonder if they have a bear one and they do so explore.org is actually a website where you can look at live cams all over the place so the safaris in Africa, all over uh, Alaska, if you want to look at bears, they've got ocean ones, they have ones that like more cold regions to see polar bears. It's just a fun website if you like to watch. And so we've been watching Alaskan bears all day. And th th this is now like my hyperfixation. So I just want to give you guys an update on the book and tell you about that random website. Let's keep reading. I'm obsessed. I'm pretty sure I said this at the beginning of this vlog. So the reason why I'm reading this right now is I have two different series that have a Christmas book right in the middle of them. One is this Simple Wild series. The other one is Poplar Falls. I am vlogging both. I don't know which vlog will be done, but if it's not already out, the Poplar Falls one will be shortly after this because I'm reading this series simultaneously. Both series have a Christmas book in the middle of them. For this series, it is Forever Wild. It's a novella that takes place at Christmas, and I'm doing Christmas in July. The way I can get it read and just continue with the series. Christmas in July starts tomorrow. I wanted all of my books to be done tonight, but I was reading the Poplar Falls book and finished that this evening, so I haven't picked up Wild at Heart in about a day, and so I don't think I'll have it be done in time for tomorrow which is okay I can start reading the other Christmas book and just finish this one up but I do want to try and get a chunk of bread tonight so we're gonna make a drink I don't want to say it too late so I also thought it'd be nice to make a drink and then when the drink is done I have to go to bed so I actually made this mocktail earlier this is let me show you this raspberry lemonade from snarky tea unfortunately this was not as flavorful as I was hoping it would be so earlier today I mixed it with just some strawberry lemonade from Royal Farms a gas station up the road and I really liked it so I'm now gonna use this blueberry lemonade rum from cruise I don't have much left I'm trying to get rid of it actually if I could do about a shot of this and then the tea and the lemonade make myself a little fruity cocktail and then snuggle on the couch and read um, my entire family's already gone to bed maybe Buster will come back down probably not so it'll just be me and my book but that was about a shot of rum I have no much no idea how much tea that this is and then maybe about a third of a cup of tea and then I'm going to fill up strawberry lemonade until it's up to the stars past the cat perfect we'll add some ice and this will be our little evening drink and then I have a little bit of lemonade left for tomorrow just to drink okay let's get some ice and get on the couch I was telling this to my friend Autumn who had recommended this series to me in the first place. It's interesting, I don't want to give anything away, but I don't think I've had this happen with a book before. I do not think they're a good couple. I do not see them lasting, I just, I don't see it, I don't feel it, and yet I absolutely love the book. Like I think Calla could find someone better for her and I think Jonah could find someone better for him, and yet I absolutely love this book and I'm not sure I've ever not liked a couple together but liked both people in the couple and liked the book, which just gives testimony to how well K.A. Tucker writes her books. I want to go, I've been to Alaska before, I want to go back and explore all of Western Alaska. I'm absolutely hooked on the storyline. So I'm on page 286. This book is about, yeah, so I've got just under 100 pages left. We are already in the middle of Christmas in July, which is what I was supposed to be doing is reading the Christmas novellas. I need to finish this up. It's Tuesday night. I want to finish this tomorrow so that way I can actually read that Christmas novella. That vlog is already being filmed because I am reading other Christmas books, but let's try and wrap this up. If not tonight, tomorrow, maybe morning before work. Let's get it done.
I've been dealing with a little bit of insomnia this week. I have a bedtime routine that typically helps me fall and stay asleep for whatever reason this week. It's just not working. This is the third night in a seven day span that I just haven't been able to fall asleep. I got in bed at about 9.40. It is 10.20. I just got back out of bed because watching the time move on the clock and not falling asleep makes me feel more anxious. And if you don't know, I like really weird hours. I follow my husband hours, so he gets up at 4.30. I like to get up with him at 4.30, so we go to bed at 9.30 together. But I don't actually have to be at my center until about 9, so I don't have to get up at 4.30. So I'm working on flexibility with myself and saying, like, okay, I'm clearly not tired, so let's try and go to bed at, like, 11 and wake up at 6.30 instead. So... Because I am so close to being done with this book, I am now at page 316, and again, it only goes to about 380. Let's just get it done. 40 minutes, let's see if I can get it done and be sleepy enough to go to bed afterwards. I probably won't talk to you again until tomorrow, but my goal is to finish the book. I didn't actually talk to you guys about this book in this vlog because I read it in the Christmas in July vlog which is linked below but I'll just give a quick summary. This is a novella that ties up Kala and Jonah's story. I still am not 100% sold that they're a forever couple but I do really like them. I like them individually and I do see them growing. Honestly, I kind of wish this was written as more of a character series. There's only one more book, and I actually want to double check that, but as far as I know, there's only one more book in this series, and it is Marie the Veterinarian, who we have met, and we'll talk about that when we read that book, but I almost wish that it was more written like uh, Catherine Coles and Devney Perry, where there's six books, and each book follows a different couple, because I would love to see, for example... Roy, who is a very grumpy character throughout this series, reconnect with his family, and then another book with Toby finding love, and then Marie's story, because I want to spend more time in this community. That's how much I loved it. But like I said, I'm pretty sure it just ends with Marie's book, which is also an interesting kind of way to write a series to me. Two full-length books and one novella about one couple, and then just one full-length book about another couple. But I'm really excited for that story. Unfortunately, I don't know where my copy is. I just looked on my library website and I do in fact have it checked out. So I think I put it somewhere and I don't know where. Oh, maybe it's in the garage. I, when I find it, we'll start it. But I don't know where it is right now and that's a problem. But did love this one and I'm excited to keep going. Good news, I found Running Wild. It was in my bedroom. I have another chaise with a table and it has like a lower portion and the book was sitting down there. So we have it and Corey got me these Tropical Twist cocktails. This is from Three Notched, which is a brewery in Virginia, but apparently they have a distilling company. So he got me this one. It's got vodka, mango, pineapple, and coconut. And so I thought we could try that and get the book started. When I came upstairs, the boys have already gone to bed, but she was meowing a ton. Fun fact about Hobo, she didn't really know how to meow, and she has somehow learned it at 16 years of age, and now she meows a lot, and I'm not really sure what it is, but I, I'm thinking that maybe she just wanted to hang out, so I brought her in here so she could snuggle on my lap, and we can start the last book, but let's try this first. That's pretty good. I think I probably should have poured it in a glass. I would have felt better. I have three more. Well, I'll drink the other ones the way they're meant to be drank. But in the can, it's just fine. I'm kind of sad to start the last book because the series is so good. But let's give Marie her time to shine.
Okay, let's recap this series now that I'm done with it. The first two that I read, I absolutely loved. Reminder, I read the very first book, The Simple Wild, in the very first vlog I did on this channel that is linked below. I really liked that one. And then this was book two for Kala and Jonah. And then this novella takes place at Christmas, still Kala and Jonah. One thing that I really liked about this is it was told over the perspective of a year. So that first book ended with the relationship just budding again. He lives in Alaska, she lived in Toronto. Those are really far apart and they had to figure out, are they gonna do long distance? What are they gonna try? So it kind of left on that open note and then this book, it'll say February and then it'll be April and then it'll be June and it's going through the transformation they had throughout that next year of the relationship. And I did really like the way that it took, told the story over a year because it's not gonna be very simple to merge your lives because somebody clearly had to give up a lot to move. I think it's over 3,000 miles away. So I really like the way this book was told and then and this was a really beautiful closure to the series. The one thing that I'll say is I don't necessarily see them as a long-term couple, but I still loved their story. And I think that is remarkable that I can say, ah, if I saw 20 years in the future, I wouldn't be shocked if they weren't together, but I still love them, which is just why I love K.A. Tucker's writing, which is why this one was so disappointing. I don't see the point of this book. I did not like this book at all. And I think what's confusing me the most is it's a four book series. Three of the books are about Kala and Jonah. And then there's a bonus one thrown in about another character who, by the way, is in love with Jonah for majority of this book. This book felt pointless. If we were going to continue, so if we were going to say we want to keep this series going, I wish there was a book for Toby, the bartender. I wish there was a book for Roy, who kind of seems like he has a budding romance with somebody. I wish that there had been other storylines. This just feels like it's tacked on to Kala and Jonah's story. I don't buy them as a couple at all. I think she's very immature. I just, there's a lot that I don't like about Marie. This is the first time in my life I have not liked a book with a veterinarian in it, which makes me disappointed. But honestly, guys, I would just read these three and leave it at that. If you're dying to know more about her or about Alaskan sled dogs or things like that, it does talk a lot about that. And I don't necessarily think it's a complete waste of time. I just... It was a, not a good note to end the story, series on, especially when I liked these so much. So I hope that was helpful. I definitely recommend reading these first three ones, and I'm so glad I did Christmas in July, so that way I could read this novella festively. This has been on my C TBR since 2021, 2024, finally done. And maybe it's just 2022, but still, at least two years. So I'm glad I got it done, and I'll see you guys in the next one.